Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk about what I thought was probably the best Super Bowl commercial ever. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to make sure you stay up to date on all of the digital marketing hacks, tricks, and tips that I share with you here on YouTube for free. And as we dive into this uh, topic of what I consider the best Super Bowl commercial that has ever been aired, if you disagree and want to tell me I'm wrong, go ahead, do it in the comments. Tell me how I'm wrong, because I'm not. So the commercial that I thought was so amazing was the commercial that Coinbase put together. Let's show you here up in the screen, somewhere here. They'll fix it in post, maybe. Now what they did is they had a QR code just bouncing in corners, boom, 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 not hitting the corners, just bouncing around. And this is a callback to the DVD players that would have this square box that just would go and just be bouncing around. And everybody growing up watched this hoping that it would perfectly hit a corner. And it'd always be looking like it's about to, and then it would be like, boom, boom, and barely miss the corner. And so the reason this commercial, it wasn't like that funny. It wasn't, we're used to commercials that are hilarious and, and funny. And let's be honest, this last Super Bowl set of commercials really was just a bunch of celebrities that were getting their cameos. It was like all celebrities and very, very few good ads. So let's be honest, it didn't have much to compete with. But the reason this commercial was so good from just a fundamentals of advertising standpoint is it capitalized on nostalgia. Now their Coinbase's ideal customer is probably around the 25 to up audience. And anybody who's been around 25 year old or up knows about this screensaver. And everybody, like there's this huge thing. I mean, in high school, you'd be sitting there watching this uh, with the TV, you wouldn't be paying attention to class and you'd see the screensaver and everybody would be just waiting and hoping for it to hit the corner. I, the, the Office even did an episode where Michael's giving a presentation and everyone's watching the screensaver and not listening to Michael. It's that nostalgia is, is a huge, huge way to connect with your ideal customer. Reason number two that it was so great was they had a level of um, mystery. No one actually knew who the commercial was for. And it's, it's genius because everyone's watching it, loving it, and then I, you know, at my own Super Bowl party, we were sitting there and I was like, who, who's running this commercial? Who is this for? And somebody's like, well, I'll look it up. So it has this uh, factor of mysteriousness of like, there's somebody's gonna, look it up. And that leads to the third and what I consider one of the best um, aspects of this ad is they had an easy call to action. With commercials, you have a massive drop off from people who see your commercial on TV to actually going to your website. That's why people love digital advertising with like Facebook and uh, you know Google, TikTok, YouTube, because people, you can give them the link that you want them to go to. So you can control somewhat of the path that people take after they see your ads. With commercials, you don't get that. And so somebody will see a commercial and they can't act right away because they have to go pull up their phone, they have to find the website, and there's this massive drop off. But what Coinbase did was having a QR code that people could just pull out their phone and scan it and it takes them directly to the app store. So with all three of these factors, this has been one of the most successful Super Bowl commercials. Coinbase came out with some statistics about like the results, how many visitors came, how many new users they got from it, and it just was amazing. And, and the beauty of all of this, yes, it cost a lot of money to run a Super Bowl commercial, but they didn't have to pay any celebrities. They didn't have to do any crazy effects. They didn't have to pay actors. They didn't have to do, they didn't have to pay for any of that. I could hire a teenager to essentially make that exact same Super Bowl commercial and have it be that same quality. And they were able to save so much money that they really only had to spend 
on the team to develop the idea and the actual placement of the ad. And that's why it's just genius. It was an absolute genius. And as an advertiser, yeah, it wasn't like the funniest commercial and everything, but I remember it. I could take quick call to, like I could actually take action on their product and on their ad and everyone's still talking about it. So just to wrap it all up, this was by far, in my opinion, as an advertiser, one of the best commercials anybody's run on for the Super Bowl because it hit nostalgia, it had a mysterious factor, it had an easy call to action for people to take. I mean, you think about it, the commercials come on on a football game, people automatically pull their phone out to check social media, to text someone, to look at their emails or whatever. Their phone's already there and they have this QR code just bouncing. It's just, boom, there you go. It's You're already able to go to the, the app store or the website and, and control that path that people take. And that's where, as from an advertiser standpoint, I think that commercial was just phenomenal and if I could give someone a high five at Coinbase for doing that or whoever's in charge, I would give them a, a high five. Just giving them props. That's it for this video. If you guys loved it, leave a like. If you hated it, comment below. Why am I wrong? Why is this not the best commercial? And then I'm, maybe I'll reply to you on why you're wrong. And we can have a nice little conversation in the comments below. If you want to stay up to date for all the marketing tips, tricks, and hacks that we share here on this channel for free, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you next time.